This is National 9 News with Mark Ferguson. The Premier goes into damage control as more members of his government are dragged into the Wollongong corruption scandal. Police round up a violent gang that gate crashed a teen party. Bill Q's bats, tree branches, broken glass. A life-size cardboard cutout of the Prime Minister causes a ruckus in Parliament. Remove that from the House. And the ship that signals the start of a very big weekend in Sydney. Good evening. There was more tough talk from the Premier today, but still no action against ministers implicated in the Wollongong corruption scandal. Mr Yemmer has warned that he'll sack any ministers caught doing the wrong thing, yet says he'll wait for the ICAC hearings to run their course before taking action. Maurice Yemmer could not confirm if Police Minister David Campbell or Tourism Minister Matt Brown had acted on behalf of shonky property developers who donated campaign funds. Federal Parliament was thrown into chaos today when the opposition produced a life-size cutout of the Prime Minister. One Liberal MP was escorted from the chamber as the Speaker and his deputy lost control. Here he is, cardboard Kev, the cutout that stopped the Parliament. On the markets, Caltech shares plummeted down 10% at the close. But West Farmers soared thanks to its first profit result as the owner of the Coles Group. The All Lords finished the week 18 points down. Our dollar's very strong against the greenback at 92.12 US cents. And we'll have full reports on the big ships in our news this weekend with live coverage of their rendezvous in our bulletin on Sunday night. In the news ahead, an arrest over the murder of a Sydney woman in Bali and astounding images of America's missile hit on a crippled satellite. Stephanie with Sport next and the Aussies in big trouble at the MCG. They certainly are. Mark Sri Lanka won the toss, elected to field. Then their bowlers dismantled our increasingly fragile top order. And the Jets and the Mariners ready to rumble in Sunday's A-League Grand Final. Between them, they collected millions at that auction in India, but yet again, Australia's top order has failed to cash in, this time against Sri Lanka in Melbourne. Mike Hussey's unbeaten 64 and a vital half-century from Michael Clark gave the host something to defend, but the visitors are chasing only 185 for victory. At the Indian Premier League auction, Adam Gilchrist fetched over three-quarters of a million dollars. Well, plenty on this weekend, but Mark, first we're back to the MCG to see if our bowlers can get us out of trouble yeah, again. The Aussies have a mountain to climb. They do, and hopefully they'll do it for you. Happy birthday. I believe today's the big day. Thank you. Another year. Good on you, Steph. After the break, Mike Bailey with the weekend weather details. Then the country where it's so cold, even the waterfalls are frozen. Now, here's Mike Bailey with the weather, and how's the weekend shaping up, Mike? It'll be fine, Mark, but there's a milder southwesterly change on the way for tomorrow morning. And the real bite of summer has missed us again. Temperatures did top 30 degrees in Sydney's west today, while sea breezes on the coast kept the city to a peak of 25. That's still one below average. Sea swells are moderating only slowly as the strong low-pressure cell over the Tasman slowly moves away. The change heading towards us for the weekend has fresh northerly winds ahead of it, and it's brought some scattered showers while crossing the south. East. There'll be more showers there for tomorrow, but New South Wales will be mostly dry. A monsoon trough will bring further showers, in fact heavy rain to the top end of the continent and into Queensland. Brisbane knows in for a real taste of summer, with temperatures there to peak around the mid-30s. By contrast, a preview of autumn down south for both Melbourne and Hobart. Sydney will be fine and mostly sunny, with winds from the southwest after the change expected tomorrow morning. There's also a further warning of dangerous surf and a strong wind warning for coastal waters as the change passes. South to southwest winds will reach 25 to 33 knots before easing back to around 20 knots and tending southeast tomorrow afternoon with seas to 3 metres. Southwest to southeast winds and lower swells for Sunday. Temperatures tomorrow should be peaking in the mid to high 20s across Sydney, leading into what will be a cooler night tomorrow night in the wake of the change. So, remaining fine and mostly sunny across the weekend with that change lowering humidity too. But there's the chance of one or two showers returning on Monday. Enjoy that and your birthday, Mark. Good on you, Mike. I intend to. Thank you. Well, away from our summer, nature has been producing some fine art in Estonia. This waterfall transformed into a frozen cascade because of a severe winter. 
Spray from the water, which is still getting through, has also been blown over the local lookout, creating more sculptures to complement the frozen falls. That's National Nine News for this Friday. I'm Mark Ferguson. Hope you have a great weekend.